everyone and welcome to morning prayer. Let's pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, Rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 138. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to you. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness for you have glorified your name and your word above all things in the day that i called to you you answered me you put a new strength in my soul all the kings of the earth shall praise you o lord for they have heard the words of your mouth they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, be, be high, he watches over the lowly. As for the proud, he regards them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will preserve me. You will stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. The Lord shall make good his purpose for me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. Lord our God, supreme over all things, look upon the humble and lowly and put new strength into our souls to complete your purpose for us. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Numbers 14. The whole community was in an uproar, wailing all night long. All the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The entire community was in on it. Why didn't we die in Egypt or in this wilderness? Why has God brought us to this country to kill us? Our wives and children are about to become plunder. Why don't we just head back to Egypt and right now, Soon they were all saying it to one another, let's pick a new leader, let's head back to Egypt. Moses and Aaron fell on their faces in front of the entire community gathered in emergency session. Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jeff, Jeff Hannah, Members of the scouting party ripped their clothes and addressed the assembled people of Egypt. The land we walked through and scouted out this in, is this is a very good land, very good indeed. If God is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land that flows, as they say, with milk and honey, and he'll give it to us. Just don't re rebel against God. And don't be afraid of those people. Why? We'll have them for lunch. <laughs> the, 
they, they have no protection and God is on our side. Don't be afraid of them. But up in arms now, the entire community was talking of hurling stones at them. Just then, the bright glory of God appeared at the tent of meeting. Every Israelite saw it. God said to Moses, how long will these people treat me like dirt? How long refute, refuse to trust me? And with all these signs I have done among them, I've had enough, I'm going to hit them with a plague and kill them. But I'll make you into a nation bigger and stronger than they ever were. But Moses said to God, the Egyptians are going to hear about this. You delivered this people from Egypt with a great show of strength. And now this, the Egyptians will tell everyone. They've already heard that you are God, that you are on the side of this people, that you are present among them, that they see you with their own eyes in your cloud that hovers over them in the pillar of cloud that leads them by day and the pillar of fire at night. If you kill this entire people in one stroke, all the nations that have heard what has been going on will say, since God couldn't get these people into the land which he had promised to give them, he slaughtered them out in the wilderness. Now please, let the power of the master expand, enlarge itself greatly along the lines you have laid out earlier when you said, God, slow to get angry and huge in loyal love, forgiving iniquity and rebellion and sin, still never just whitewashing sin, but extending the fallout of parents' sins to children into the third and even fourth generation. Please forgive the wrongdoing of this people out of the extravagance of your loyal love, just as all along from the time they left Egypt, you have been forgiving this people. God said, I forgive them, honouring your words. But as I live, and as the glory of God fills the whole earth, not one single person of those who saw my glory saw the miracle signs I did in Egypt and in the, and the wilderness and who have tested me over and over and over again, turning a deaf ear to me. Not one of them will set eyes on the land I so solemnly promised to their ancestors. No one who has treated me with such repeated contempt will see it. But my servant Caleb, is a, this is a different story. He has a different spirit. He follows me passionately. I'll bring him into the land that he scouted and his children will inherit it. Since the Amakites and the Canaanites are so well established in the valleys, for right now, change course and head back to the wilderness, following the route to the Red Sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for God's love has no end. O oh, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing out and praise the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. God has been my saviour. Oh, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing out and praise the Lord. Alleluia. <clears throat> Luke chapter 6. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus was walking through a field of ripe grain. His disciples were pulling off heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands to get rid of the chaff and eating them. Some Pharisees said, why are you doing that, breaking a Sabbath rule? But Jesus stood up for them. Have you never read what David and those with him did when they were hungry? 
how he entered the sanctuary and ate fresh bread off the altar, bread that no one but priests were allowed to eat. He also handed it out to his companions. Then he said, the son of man is no slave to the Sabbath, he's in charge. On another Sabbath, he went into a meeting place and taught. There was a man there with a crippled right hand. The religious scholars and Pharisees had their eye on Jesus to see if he would heal the man, hoping to catch him in a Sabbath infraction. He knew what they were up to and spoke to the man with the crippled hand. Get up and stand here before us. He did. Then Jesus addressed them. Let me ask you something. What kind of action suits the Sabbath best? Doing good or doing evil? Helping people or leaving them helpless? He looked around, looked each one in the eye. He said to the man, hold out your hand. He held it out. It was as good as new. They were beside themselves with anger and started plotting how they might get even with him. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. At the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. O oh, loving and most gracious Lord, we thank you for all these opportunities to come to you in prayer and to join together with one another. O oh, Lord, our hearts break every time we hear of more deaths whether it be through coronavirus or other things. We lift to you all those we know who have died. And let's, let's do that now as, our, as we keep quiet. May your blessings rain down on their families. Hold them close in your embrace. May they know that you are with them every step of the way, every day in their grief. Comfort them and strengthen them, O oh Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as our, as our government guidelines have changed this week, help people to be sensible in how they apply them to their daily lives.
as we come to another sunny weekend. May people know that it's best to stay at home. That our safety and the safety of those we might encounter should be paramount in our minds. Lord, we pray for the government as they continue to look at the science and the medical issues to keep our country safe. May you be their guidance. May you be their strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our loving and most gracious Lord, we pray for all nursing and care staff. Protect them in their work. Give them the strength and the energy they need to go to work each day. May your blessings rain down on them and keep them safe. All these prayers we lift to you, O oh Lord knowing and trusting that you always hear us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Risen Christ, your wounds declare your love for the world and the wonders of your risen life. Give us compassion and courage to risk ourselves for those we serve. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me everyone. I hope you have a really blessed day. Keep safe and I'll be here again at five o'clock for evening prayer. God bless.